How's it going guys? So in today's quick tip, I wanted to show you a really cool trick that can really change the way your renders are perceived, the way they look, and we're going to show you that really quickly here. So I have this scene right here. You can notice these ships look like they're massive. How did I create them to... Um, how did I set this up to make these ships look massive? And that is a problem I used to have. See, if we're just in the viewport, they don't look quite so big. And what that is, that trick is in the aspect ratio of your camera and the um, depth of field of your camera. Those two factors can really change the way the audience perceives the scale of the objects in your render. So by default, when you add a camera, your focal length here is at 50 millimeters. Now, if you're a photographer, you know what I'm talking about here. You are pretty much simulating a 50 millimeter lens on a camera. So if I go ahead and I zoom in here and I try to do the same look, notice how it kind of bows out. So this is the camera angle here. I'll show you the edges of it. It kind of bows out. And what that does is it makes your objects look like they're not quite as big. And it also looks like you are closer to your scene, which you are. You are a lot closer to the scene when it comes to the camera. But if you're trying to achieve a true sense of scale, trying to make these objects look huge, which is, um, you know, with this model, which is linked in the description if you want to grab this model, the uh, modeler wanted these to be massive ships, I'm going to assume. Um, so the way you do that is create your focal length to be really, really big. Now let's put this as an ex at an extreme. Let's do 25 millimeters. If we zoom in here, this is what's called a fisheye effect. Now you can imagine these to be big, but to the untrained eye, something looks off about this render. So the problem is it's your focal length. So let's go ahead and put that focal length at 120, I mean, not sorry, a 150 millimeters. And then let's zoom it out here. Now, all of a sudden, these um, everything is flatter. Everything looks a lot flatter. And that's because of the focal length change. But that subsequently makes these things look massive. And that's what we want. Also helps with when things are flying by. Uh, like a ship is sort of behind the camera and it sh um, shoots forward. It'll take longer for that ship to go, or you know, that object to go from the camera to the object. That's creating a sense of distance and scale while still being able to fit what you want in the frame. So there you go. That is how you create a sense of scale with some focal length. Really quick tip there. Thank you guys for checking that out. I hope you learned some stuff. I want to take a minute and talk about something that I just launched that I'm super excited about. It's called the Real Time Materials. It's a pack of 150 procedural materials that are made to be rendered fast and speed up your workflow. Let me show it to you. So say you have a scene, something like this, and I'm gonna hop on over into Eevee and kind of show you how this works. So I'm gonna hit Shift A, and once you uh, install the zip file that comes with the pack, you'll be able to play with this. So say I wanna get something kind of weird, but beautiful. We can add this material right here, and the materials work in both render engines, and they look really great in both engines. And so say I can change this base color to something, uh, maybe something green. Now we have something really cool like that, but we can also do, a bunch of other stuff. Let's head over to the paint and try out uh, paint number 10. We can kind of zoom in and you can see all these little imperfections and things like that. And everything you see is editable within these right here, including this color. We can change the color to a green like this or maybe a dark blue. But again, all this roughness, all these points are super editable here. Now, if you want to edit them, I designed these to be really quickly rendered in Eevee so you can play with editing all these parameters here. Um, let's see, play with the scale, kind of mess with those gashes, play with the scale here, mess with some of the size of that. And then also here, you can really mess with that roughness. So they render super fast, they preview super fast. A lot of procedural materials can really put a damper on your renders. These are meant to be super quick, super fun. And you can go in and just change all types of stuff. Say right here, I wanna go Shift A and get one of these surfaces that adds these nice imperfections. Add that, boom, really quickly. Now you can start shading a bunch of cool stuff. So you can go ahead and grab that. It's linked in the description. Again, thank you guys for checking out the tutorial and I will see you in the next video.